Good morning, everyone. It's your first time tuning in. I'm Chris, and this is Pia's Projects. Well, if you could tell, diving back into the beetle. Uh, it's been too long, and unfortunately, you know, things get busy. So, catch everyone back up to speed. Uh, I blew up the generator, okay? Uh, I did a quick little video about this a little over a month ago. And, I mean, it happens. So, what are we going to do? There's only one thing to do. Upgrade. So, I ordered parts. And we are upgrading not just the generator. But also the ignition system and everything. So, you know, new distributor, nice little billet setup. Yep, electronic setup. So, more basically just, you know, easier for everything. Yep. New wires. Dress it all up. New ignition coil, which I might even try and relocate to the back wall or something. Uh, maybe not today. We'll, we'll see what kind of timing I have. All right, well, first thing you gotta do, as most of y'all expected, Disconnect the battery. So, why are you yelling for Dean? Okay. All right, battery is disconnected. Uh, now let's go to the front. Oh, excuse me. <laughs> let's go to the rear. You know. One day I'll get used to the whole uh, rear engine thing. But you know, until then, keep just doing what I'm doing. Holy stand, distributor, ignition coil, plugs, or I mean, excuse me, wires. This is the hold down strap clamp. Plus, everything you need to take it apart. All right, we're gonna disconnect the wiring. All right, pull the throttle cable out. Disconnect the wire. Um, even though you're more likely just gonna set the carburetor over here. And then we need to loosen the two bolts underneath. Um, <laughs> so, before I take any of this out, I'm going to get the vacuum. Vacuum all this up. All right, now that carburetor is loose, pull it off. We'll just set it off to the side. Okay. And, because I'd rather not be fishing anything out of it. Ugh. 
So there are two bolts on the side of the fan, fan shroud. We got it out. It's a bit of a pain in the butt. <laughs> uh, but at least we didn't have to remove the deck lid. Right? So. All right, before we assemble the uh, alternator and stuff, we need to take off this uh, fan. 36 mil nut. You want the post on top. You want the breather hole on the bottom with the bevel going downwards. Put the spacer on it. And then you want this groove again down, okay? Um, I'm gonna take the hardware from the other one to secure this. Once you get it pressed on, make sure it goes over that keyway. And I'm gonna take the old fan. Oh, come on. Slide it on. Reassembled and time to put it back in. You hear that? It means I need to use a spacer or shims to push this out a little bit. And with shims installed. Moving, no issues. Remember, post is still up. And it should just literally. There we go. Well, with the uh, stand in, uh, so the instructions mention uh, a grounding strap that goes from the top of the alternator to the stand. And uh, it says, use a minimum of 10 gauge wire. I didn't have any, so just picked up some. And uh, now we're gonna make a new uh, grounding strap. I already did one in, but first thing I do, slide the heat shrink over it, it's wire strippers. I like to give it a little twist at the end. There we go. Both ends done. Everything I've read and seen says that strap needs to be very tight. A few ugga duggas and uh, make it happen. So, um, I didn't get a new one. Uh, did not actually even uh, realize that it didn't come with one. So, cleaned up the old one the best I can because I would like to get the car running. It might be the old stuff, but it'll work. Everything's right there now. So, the next thing we need to do is connect wiring. Well, the red wire, the eyelet isn't big enough. And this now is a spade connector. There we go. Biggest part is install the pulley. Push it in all the way, spin it, make sure you're not hitting anything, okay? So there's a total of 10 shims. Um, so like I said, I'm gonna do the same setup that was there. Uh, right now I think it's seven in here. And then it'll be three on the outside. Now what you want to do is Put the belt on. Now I'm going to take the other shims I had. All right, you're supposed to have about an inch of play on both sides of the pulley. What I've seen 
shows the voltage regulators usually inside. All right, so I don't quite have the adapter that I saw for everything, but what I'm gonna do, so the blue and the green wires connect, and then the red to these two connect. Um, so I'm gonna change the ends on this one and use this connector uh, for the red. All right, so the wiring's all set up. Um, probably not as pretty as it could be, but it should work. Uh, so, I'll turn everything on, give it a pump of fuel. Oh, the light turned off. That's good. <laughs> Well, it runs, which is which is awesome. Um, I'd love to take it out and uh, you know test it out a little bit. Um, I just don't have the time tonight, but it's a good spot, you know, just to see where we're at. Has the right amount of play. I don't have any cables touching, which is good. So next time I'll switch this out. Probably get new cap and stuff right here. Um, maybe you can clean up the wiring some more. The Beatles back, baby. <laughs> oh yeah. And I know uh, not everyone saw, but the motorcycle has been sold. Um, I stripped the aftermarket parts off of it the other day and took it to the dealer, sold to the dealer. Uh, storage, that's probably the biggest thing I'm looking for first. Um, I've already reached out to a few people, get some feelers out for some stuff. Um, but I need some space and in here needs to be dedicated to just working on and building stuff for the cars. Okay. Um, basically if it's in here, like ideally Joker beetle in here, wheel one out, We'll nut something else in, work on it, and then rotate through, okay? But all the clutter and stuff, it's it's been driving me insane. I just don't have anywhere to put things. So trying to fix that. Um, thank you for everyone's continued support. Please continue to like, comment, subscribe. Tell your friends about it, all right? Um, this upcoming week, if anyone's in Florida, I'll be at Daytona Speedway for a turkey rod run. Probably Friday, maybe Thursday as well. We'll see. Uh, 
Again, I appreciate everyone. And remember, there's always a solution.